News, Terra Luna Classics Planned for a Comeback, CoinGape Happy Caddy Crypto and Strath Cole, two members of the Terra Luna Classic Group, have come up with a plan to bring the chain back to life. It lays out ideas and plans for the chain and asks developers, community members, validators, and other interested parties to help shape the future of Terra Classic as rumors spread and the prices of LUNC and USTC drop sharply. In a post on August 18, Terra Luna Classic validator Happy Caddy Crypto talked about Terra Classic Expedition, a united vision. It talks about a goal and important developmental milestones, but not level 1 work like regular updates, required security patches, and adding new features. The vision paper says that the goals are to improve development work, lower costs, make things more clear, and find a better way to replace the on-chain tax. It suggests that workers be paid per milestone every week through smart contracts to make things clearer and encourage them to finish the project. Adding a native conversation platform to the official Terra Classic wallet, a dynamic commission module for validators, and station on-ramps to make it easier for new users to get started are also on the list. It also wants to boost trust and security by making coders go through a voluntary Know Your Customer, KYC, process. This is done through GitHub assets and pull requests. It suggests splitting up Hexagon spending plans so that money doesn't go to both all nodes and Hexagon endpoint hardware. The study also suggests getting rid of the current 0.5% on-chain tax and replacing it with a better dynamic method that makes it easier for entities and dApps to move projects between Terra Luna Classic and chains that don't have taxes, such as Luna. It also suggests adding a text field to the part of the station where you vote for election purposes. The price of LUNC is $0.000062 right now, down 6% in the last 24 hours. The low point for the past 24 hours is $0.000571 and the high point is $0.000667. The price of USTC is $0.012, which is 8% less than it was 24 hours ago.